Okay, hopefully the wind doesn't mess with me too badly. So I briefly uh, crudely cleaned this thing up with the uh, wire brush or the on the angle grinder. Um, I uh, discovered, well hopefully I've discovered most of the malfunctions on this thing. The deck is cracked um, on both of these uh, lifting points. Uh, multiple spots where it's rusted through. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> you guys have already kind of seen what's left of this poor thing. And the bearings, like I said, are, the upper bearings are gone. It's Apparently it's only the lower bearings that are functioning, or still intact I should say. But I was more than a little surprised to find how these guys mount. This from the underside and the outers from the top. So that, at first I was kind of scratching my head about that and scratching my head about that. But from what I can see, it looks like this secondary reinforcing plate is a common thing for these Cub Cadets, or these older ones at least. And if you ask me, that is a darn good idea. In fact, something that could very well be or should be adapted to other uh, mower decks. But at any rate, I'll get on to some of the other issues. <clears throat> so the bushing for this guy is shot and going to have to be replaced. And the... Uh, the roller up here, <laughs> actually I'll, I'll take you guys off the stand for this one, this is kind of cute anyways. So the roller's wood, first off, and I'm not sure, I'm going to try and lift this thing up by hand and see if you can see the amount of slop in that hole. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. I don't know if, if uh, Cub Cadet made this a slot or if this is worn so badly that it's become a slot that's, geez, almost an inch long. <laughs> but the, the shaft is, you know, worn also in, you know, where it mates to the, to these uh, oh, quarter inch pieces of steel. So it's... It's kind of an interesting little setup, but these guys may not actually have bad bearings. It might just be that the housings are a little bit um, sloppy. This is a two-part stamped steel housing, which is what I had on my um, uh, the Simplicity Sunstars and whatnot. And it seems like it might be a little bit easy for the housing to wear just a tiny amount and not make a good fit to the bearing anymore so I have to look at that and see if I can find a simple way to solve that little problem even if I can't it's not the end of the world it's not it's not as bad as the center bearing housing but the big thing I need to decide right now is how far do I want to go with regards to repairs on this thing I mean, it's not like with the uh, the John Deere 200s, I could just grab another deck, <clears throat> excuse me, and, uh, you know, go back into business. This is the only Cub deck that I've got, so it's kind of all or nothing on this one. So, I've got, um, I've got some uh, sheet steel around here that I can use for making decent repairs on this, so... I just have to decide in my mind how far I want to go. Obviously, I've got to repair these lifting points um, and a few other things that are critical, but I, don't, I definitely don't have to get into the cosmetic stuff. And while, the, uh, while this here drives me absolutely bonkers, it's functional. So, anyways, we'll see. It's, uh, I mean, I... I can't complain. This machine is probably pushing 50 years old. So, 
it's no surprise that there are things that are worn on it. I'm not going to, you know, cry about any of that. Besides, it makes for interesting videos, if nothing else. So, anyways, I think I pretty well inventoried my little uh, debacles here. So, I will uh, let you guys go, and I'll catch up with you later.